Joining me now, Newt Gingrich, former Speaker of the House and Fox News contributor. Newt, groceries, gas prices increasing again. Um, they're the two things everyone <clears throat> seems to go back to, the two things that everyone needs. And here we are. Bidenomics is working, Newt. Well, this may be one of the great strategic mistakes for re-election that anybody's made in modern times. Bidenomics is going to become an absurdity. The average everyday American knows that the price of gasoline is going up. And by the way, every indication is that the Biden administration policies are going to make gasoline even more expensive. So gasoline is a major factor in the consumer price index. And as it keeps going up, you're going to see the inflation go up. At the same time, everybody who goes grocery shopping, uh, and Clist and I did this over the weekend, you're startled by some of the prices, and you know that Joe Biden, uh, he, you know, he lived, has a great chef at the White House. He gets to fly Air Force One. He gets to go to Wilmington and be surrounded by people. I don't think they have a clue how bad inflation is, high prices are, for the average American. And <clears throat> Bidenomics may be one of the reasons that one of the most important deep state colonists, uh, David Ignatius, wrote a column this morning saying Biden should drop out. I think this began to sink in to Democrats that well, Biden Newt, getting reelected yeah. is going to be very, very hard. Newt, I, I think what's been amazing about this from the very beginning in this administration is that they think that every problem is just a PR problem. It, we have to communicate it better. People, we, we, people don't see it the way we're saying it. But in reality, it's a substance problem. I mean, they're shutting off oil supplies, exploration, cordoning off uh, land that can't be drilled. And so now, well, well, it turns out our utilities are going to be sky high this winter. New report just came out about that and all the other things we're seeing. So it's not a PR or messaging problem. This is a policy problem, and it has been across the board. Look, if, if you are a hardline left winger, uh, you believe in a world that's a fantasy. Now, if you really believe in that world, you can't face any facts because the facts would destroy your belief system. So you make things up uh, and you get used to lying to each other. And that makes you out of touch with reality. I thought the other day when the secretary of energy couldn't actually take the drive in the electric vehicle, because, for example, I think there are only 37 uh, charging stations in all of West Virginia. Uh, and so here she is out in a PR stunt, and it turns out they, st they staffed it so stupidly, <laughs> they didn't realize she couldn't possibly do what they were promising. This kind of stuff goes yeah. on every day in this administration. Newt, really quickly on that New Mexico uh, concealed uh, carry and open carry ban um, that was in, put into place by the New Mexico governor uh, because of a gun violence, quote, emergency, it was slapped down temporarily. Your quick reaction to that? The governor is crazy. It's another example of the rule of power uh, replacing the rule of law. There is no constitutional provision that allows her to do that. And by the way, she has to be personally, unilaterally suspending New Mexico law to do it. It is an example of the total power that the left believes they have to tell us what to do. Yeah, and uh, Biden got slapped down with a student loan forgiveness. I mean, they, they, left and right, they're getting hit by all these unconstitutional moves. Newt, great to see you tonight, as always. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.